integrate the tangent to the fourth power of x. This problem is a little bit harder. Um, most books will say something like, uh, if you have an even power of tangent and there's no secants, you know, you save a tangent squared and convert the rest to secants, and etc. Let's let's try that. Let's try to save a tan squared. And if you didn't know how to do this, that's probably what you would try. So we have tangent squared x, and then here we also have tangent squared x dx. All right, now we're going to use an identity. Let's use it here on this piece. So this is tangent squared x. And tan squared is secant squared x minus 1. It's an identity. dx. Uh, at this point, it's still not super clear what to do. So maybe break it up into two integrals. So we'll have tangent squared x, secant squared x, dx minus tangent squared x dx All right and let's let's keep going looks like here we're okay right here things are good because here we can let u be tangent and then du will be secant squared x dx i wrote that really small okay so this this integral is is good we got this right we can do this one this tan squared here, I think we should probably use another identity. So let's let's keep rewriting these. So tan squared x, secant squared x, dx, minus, and then again, this will be secant squared x, ah, success, minus 1 dx. All right, writing the first one again, we get tan squared x, secant squared x, dx, and then here we end up with minus secant squared x dx plus dx, right? Because we have a negative and a negative, so we get a positive. All right, now let's go ahead and make the substitution. Uh, and if it's not clear, this, this is going to be uh, extremely easy here, right? This is just tangent, right? What's a function whose derivative is secant squared? Tangent, right? So that part's easy. And this is also absolutely trivial, right? This is just x. So let's work this one out. I wrote it up here, but let me write it again. So u will be tangent, so, and then du will be secant squared x dx. This will become u squared du minus tangent of x, right, that's this one, uh, plus x plus a constant. This will be u cubed over 3 minus the tangent of x plus x plus a constant. And u was tangent x, so we end up with tangent cubed x over 3 minus the tangent of x plus x plus c. So whenever you have a lone tangent being raised to an even power all by itself, save a copy of tangent squared and convert the rest to secants.